Senator Leland Yee. Well, first off, uh, let me thank all of you uh, for being here. Uh, you know, as you know, uh, you know, I'm running for mayor, but I wanted to kind of review uh, a little history with you. Uh, when I uh, was on the Board of Supervisors, and I was citywide at that particular time, uh, I cut my teeth in district matters and district representation and district elections right here in the Tenderloin. Some of you uh, who know me and we work on so many issues here in the Tenderloin know how hard it is to transform communities and transform neighborhoods. It is not easy. You have to pull together so many different uh, elements within a community and a neighborhood. And it's not about just that. It's about doing it on a day in and day after business. It's about working on these issues again and again and again. And unfortunately, whatever progress we make, there are always going to be steps backwards. And if you don't pay attention to the steps backwards, then you're going to find that whatever steps forward you make, you're going to have to do double duty to recover from those steps backward. And it is those kinds of lessons that I've taken uh, from working with many of you here in the Tenderloin so that I am able to do the kind of work that um, I later was able to do in District 4 and in other uh, 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 parts of uh, San Francisco. And then finally, uh, was able to then, when I moved to the State Assembly and then finally to the Senate, that the lessons that I learned from here uh, carry and allow me to do so well. And so with that, I wanted to say, uh, because I wanted to again thank all of you for your um, patience with me, uh, for your hard work, and most importantly for the education that we got along the way. In my uh, run for the uh, mayor of uh, the city and county of San Francisco, there are a number of things that I think are extremely important uh, even now here in the Tenderloin. I think public safety is probably one of the premier uh, issues that we are all facing. And community policing, uh, working with different communities. Uh, I remember when uh, uh, many, many years ago we had weekly meetings uh, with the police captain at that particular time, Susan Mannheimer, and was many other individuals day in and day out working on those issues that we brought some modicum of safety for individuals living here. Community policing is extremely important. Working with the community uh, and, and, and eliciting their ideas and support is something that I am going to continue to do and be very passionate about. I think for all of us, uh, we know that um, uh, the Tenderloin uh, is a place where a lot of individuals are living here, and they are living here with um, uh, a lot of needs. And so having affordable housing, supportive housing, housing that is going to allow individuals to maintain the, uh, their place to live, uh, given their affordability issue, is ex extremely important to me. The question is, well, how do we do that? Well, I think one of the things that we've got to do is to begin thinking about other ways of somehow uh, providing that affordability. Uh, and I think one of the new ways of looking at that affordability is how do we take some of the general fund monies that we have available and use that to bond against revenue bonds so that it's not going to just be geo bonds, but it's also revenue bonds and revenue bond providing a longer uh, a, a funding stream and then more opportunity uh, to build uh, those kinds of affordable units that we've uh, recognized here in the Tenderloin for us to then uh, move forward with that. And that's something that I really want to uh, uh, work on uh, quite a bit. I think the other is that uh, the Tenderloin, more than any other place, is made up of a lot of small businesses. And I think that's a good thing. There's not a whole lot of change except maybe for the, the drugstores and so on. But in, you know, in general, most of the businesses 
are going to be small businesses and how do we support that is extremely important. Uh, you know, how do, do I, as a mayor, uh, you know, have a cadre of individuals working with businesses to ensure that the problems that they have, uh, that the issues that they may have, and maybe some of the problems that they create, that we address them rather quickly and rather uh, uh, forcefully so that we don't have uh, 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 businesses that kind of throw up their hands and say, enough is enough, I'm ready to get out of here, and unfortunately then leaving a particular asset uh, for all of us here in the community. I, my, my, my time, I think, is up. But again, you know, I just want to come back to say to you that uh, I owe you a tremendous uh, debt of gratitude for all of the things that we have learned along the way, and we've made uh, quite an uh, uh, impression uh, in the city because I believe that Tenderloin uh, for many, many years uh, led the way in terms of district representation. So thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, if I think this is